all right guys so i think this is the official start of the birth vlog <laughs> um so we just got done with dinner what happened the trash can oh okay yeah cool <laughs> priorities so, i think i don't know <laughs> so we just um got done eating dinner we want to go get like burger king because like my husband didn't want to cook anything and i didn't want to cook anything finished eating and then i'm laying down and my husband always brings me a cup of ice from his work so i was eating ice and then all of a sudden i feel like like a pop you know down there and um i was like oh because then i got cramping right away i was like oh i feel like i'm getting a contraction and then um <laughs> I'm trying to talk but i am getting contractions right now um yeah so then hold on i'm gonna put on my shades we're gonna be driving in the sun for a while um so so after that i i um hold on i'm trying to talk here use your words use your words yeah so okay so i feel a pop and then i tell him i'm like <laughs> i feel like i just you know like i farted you know like down there but like not like from my butt but from my vagina <laughs> and then all of a sudden so like nice. i'm like in pain and then i feel like like I'm peeing myself so I get up I'm like oh my god because like it, it was weird because I he's like oh maybe you peed yourself I was like no it was different like like when you pee like you feel it coming out of your bladder like this just felt like it was just coming out and so like I ran to the restroom and then I did pee because I had to pee um but yeah like my underwear was all wet and then um I posted a, a snapchat and uh, I was like laughing because I was like, this is like hilarious because I'm like supposed to get induced on the fourth. Like I, I thought I wasn't going to get in, that I was going to get induced, that I wasn't going to have this like spontaneous labor. So I'm laughing because it's so funny to me. <laughs> that, <laughs> oh my God, it's still coming out. Uh, um, the good news is it's lined with plastic. Yeah. So anyways, uh, oh God. This is a camera. Can you please drive safely, please? I want to get you there. Yeah, we, we're not in a rush, please. Like, no, you're fine. Uh, I call my mom. I call my mom and I was like, how does it feel when your water breaks? She's like, well, you just feel like a gush of water. Um, I was like, do you feel anything beforehand? She was like, well, not sometimes, maybe. And then I'll, she's like, why? I was like, because I think my water broke. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> laughing. I'm dying. And she's like, you need to head to the hospital right now. <laughs> and I'm like, but, 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 and I'm laughing. And she's like, I'm not kidding with you. You need to go. I was like, but. Coping woman. Yeah, I was like, I thought they said like six hours. She's like, no, if you're like me, you can have this baby in like an hour. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay. Which I don't think so because like, you guys, I haven't had like, like very big contractions today but anyways <laughs> i just you know still find it very funny because like what are the odds um yeah so then i was like well i kind of second guessed myself i was like maybe i peed myself but like i took a shower really quick and <laughs> i still feel the gushing like even right now so it's like i think my water's breaking like it's still breaking like it's still coming out so we're going to the hospital i was just there yesterday to get a non-stress test because baby wasn't moving a lot um they're gonna be like they're you're back again <laughs> yeah they let me go so now they're gonna be like you're here again and I, that's what i was like uh do i want to go but like yeah there's actually my water breaking but yeah because i literally told them yesterday i didn't even want to go yesterday because i was like i don't want to i don't want to be that cry cry wolf the girl you, want to you know a wolf. we care for our child that's true i mean and granted yesterday yeah they had to move me a couple positions and all of that because like he wasn't being like very active so like it worked out that we went um and that they always tell me like no it's a good thing you came um but yeah so <laughs> we'll see how it goes um uh, see if i get admitted or if they tell me i'm just peeing myself because that'd be funny <laughs> all right guys we are here he was driving like crazy. Oh, you shush. He normally drives all calm, and then just one day I need him to drive calm. He's driving like crazy. Oh, shit. You out every time. Every time you make it out. Oh, well, you know, you have to get me there. Oh. Me there. Oh. oh, my God. I like literally feel just wet down there. Is it for me? Shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs>
All right, guys, so we're in the triage room. Yeah, so this is the triage room. That's the sample that I got. It's got blood in it. Sorry, you got to see that. <laughs> I am starting to get like just cramps, like period cramps. So, yeah, I'm with some mood here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, keep you guys updated. All right, guys, so they tested my fluids and it indeed was my water breaking. So, we're officially in the hospital <laughs> like I'm not leaving oh, man this is crazy what are the odds that I was supposed to get induced and this baby no matter what was gonna come early induction or no induction that's crazy <laughs> all right guys we finally got our room and my husband's gonna give you guys a room tour <laughs> Sorry. So here's our door. We're in room 17. And then, hold on. We got a nice little curtain here. Make yourself decent, please. Ah! Caught you. Caught you! But yeah, there she is. Our lovely mother to be. The little sink and equipment. The little recliner back there. Let's take a look at it. Little recliner. They gave me a cot which is awesome. I was fully expecting to just sleep on the floor, mm -hmm. but yes. <laughs> we got a little cubby here with all the goodies. We got the little peanut ball thing, um, the rest of her stuff, my shades. Little TV. This is where the baby's gonna be. This, this is where my son will be with the heat lamp. <laughs> and then we have Unknown territory, I haven't gone in here yet. It's a restroom. Oh, sweet. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they got a little shower thing and everything. Oh, wait, is that a bidet? You use it as a bidet. Clean your butt. <laughs> uh, more shower stuff. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Dangly bits. Oh, well, probably for the shower and stuff. Right. <laughs> Um, little linen stuff, but yeah, it's quite simple, quaint, also stage lights. Yeah. Oh, wow. Here you go, stage lights. But yeah, that's an update so far. I'm in a gown now. I got the IV. Um, I did test positive for strep B, so, um, they did have to give me penicillin and that was pretty painful <laughs> not gonna lie I just felt like it was burning and I felt like yanking it off um, I didn't but it, that's what I felt like doing um, I am still at a three um, three centimeters dilated but I am getting contractions so that's good because if I keep getting contractions they'll push back the Pitocin if not they're gonna put me on Pitocin to activated a little bit faster so we got here around like 7 it's already 10 15 so I've been here for three hours and 15 minutes so yeah <laughs> I'm getting a contraction I don't know why when I get the contractions, I just want to move. Like I don't want to sit still. They're not close together, so that, that's good, but also bad because like they're supposed to start getting closer together. Um, but yeah, 
<sighs> That's how I'm dealing with my pain, guys. All right, guys, so they put me on Pitocin. So I'm gonna start getting these contractions a little bit closer together, a little bit more painful. Um, I say a little bit, but I feel like it's definitely gonna be a lot. They have been painful. I'm still at a three the last time they checked, so I don't want to get the epidural until I'm like at least at a five or six, um, because I don't want to slow down the pro like any progress. Um, my husband or Jesse, he went to the house because I forgot a bag, and then he went to go get food, so he should be here soon. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's 11.20 right now, so, yeah, this baby is going to be born June 3rd. <laughs> um, I was telling my husband, I was like, oh my gosh, June 3rd, like the date that Lorelai and Luke were supposed to get married on June 3rd. But, yeah, I thought it was pretty funny, a little Gilmore Girls moment for me. I'm just chilling right now trying to breathe through these. I, I don't know why every time I get a contraction, I just want to get up and move. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe, I still can't believe this happening. Like, not at all what I expected. <laughs> at all. Oh my God. Literally, as soon as I shut this off, someone's screaming. If, if that's not something to freak me out. <laughs> All right, guys, so <laughs> update. It's been a while. I didn't update a lot because I was going through contractions. Um, I mentioned earlier how I didn't want to get the epidural too early, even though I was getting like pains, you know, it felt like really bad period cramps. And then they kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And they were closer together. And I was like, like telling them, I was like, I need it now, I need it now. But they needed like one of those big fluid things to be in my system. Um, and then, yeah, they formed the IV. And then um, at least have a little bit of it in my system. So had that going. And then the anesthesiologist came in. Out of everything I've dealt with today, getting the epidural was the least painful thing ever. I was scared that I was gonna have a contraction as I was like getting the epidural. So I was like breathing like so hard so that like I could handle it. Um, thankfully, I think I did pretty good with it. Um, my husband was great, like being like right there so I can like hold on to him. That, that was amazing. Um, so now I have the epidural. They didn't check me before. And I really wanted them to. So I knew if I was like at least out of five. But they didn't. Um, they actually just checked me right now. And I'm between a seven and eight. So um, that's great. Because I came in with a three. Um, and so I, I literally went through the contractions from a three to a seven and eight. Um, which I'm pretty proud of myself. Because I was like, as soon as I hit five, I want the epidural. But no, I only went through, I, I went up to a seven and eight. So I'm pretty proud of that. But for anyone that's done it natural, all power to you. <laughs> I could not do it. It was, I was starting to get so painful. I was like starting to cry. I didn't cry, but like, I was like, it hurt so bad. Yeah, really bad pain tolerance, but I'm good now. I have the shakes. Um, but other than that, like, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get some rest because it's, uh, what is it? It's almost, I don't have my glasses on, so hold. Yeah, it's about to be two o'clock in the morning. <sighs> when my husband gets out the shower, I'm going to see what time he thinks the baby will be here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I feel so much better. So much better. Alright guys, so another update. Um, 
my husband took a nap. <laughs> I took a little bit of a nap, maybe like 20 minutes. Um, they did have to like come in with like another nurse because his um, heart rate was like dipping with my contractions and then my blood pressure went down. So they gave me some medicine that like helped contradict it, which really helped. So that was good. So we're clear from that. Um, and then she came to clear my bladder. So if I take a moment, I got the, got the jitters. <laughs> and I feel like I, I, I have a lot of gas. But yeah, so she came to clear my bladder. And um, when they do that, they also, you know, check your cervix. And she said, I'm full. So like, I'm, no, she didn't say full. I'm complete. So she says, within an hour, I should be having this baby. <laughs> I'm going to have baby Sam in an hour. Uh, we're going to start practice pushing here soon. <sighs> wow, it's happening. <laughs> I got my epidural around 1, and it's 3... It's 3.50, almost 4. So, not bad. Not bad, because I was scared that it was going to, like, completely shut down labor but it didn't it actually helped so that's good I'm, I'm, I'm content how are you feeling huh how are you feeling <laughs> are you excited though yeah you should probably go get some coffee <laughs> you should probably go get some coffee how do you think i did when i was actually having like painful contractions I am a big baby. I am a big baby. I am. Like, literally, when you were distracted, you did When I was distracted, but it still hurt. Obviously, but that's that's what I'm trying to say. Is like when you weren't like actively thinking about it. You know, it was like just happening. You know. But I wasn't relaxing. Like now, I'm actually like relaxed. Man, you're asking me. Like, <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's my observation. It's yeah. like you did perfectly fine mm -hmm. without it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now that you have it, you have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a big ass fucking needle. <laughs> you, don't, you don't understand, like. It was big. Yeah. yeah. Like, it could be real for your pleasure. <laughs> Yeah, bless him because he's able to like watch everything. I would squirm. Like they asked me if I wanted oh. a mirror, and I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. I don't want to freak myself out because if I were to see it, I'd probably be like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> you understand it? Like the reason they well, not really like you know like they're not they're not doing anything to like harm you well yeah I, I know that that's 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 the way i approach it it's like okay mm -hmm. we're doing this for a reason what's the reason mm -hmm. oh this is why oh cool like i think the best way to like you know this be less fearful of things is to understand them yeah you know what I mean? the same thing with like thunder and stuff yeah you once you get why it happens it's like oh okay well you know it never strikes the same mm -hmm. place whatever yeah, I'm I'm very when it comes to things like this, it's like I trust the doctors. Like my mom kept like, you the baby's not supposed to be without water for six hours but I'm like, Okay, but they know that. Like I'm at the hospital for a reason. You know? Like I trust, you know, my my doctors. I trust the nurses and the fact that our kids head is a bug. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just I'm content with that. So um, yeah, I am 100% glad I got the epidural, 100%. It was just unbearably painful for me, you know? Like, he says I was handling it, but I think it's because I was pushing myself because I didn't think I was going to dilate, so I kept, like, they're not checking me, and so I literally did it till the last moment when I just, I couldn't handle it. But yeah, all right. I have to mentally prepare for pushing this baby out, so see you guys later. <laughs>
Okay, go for it. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. You could toss it right in 
got that? Yeah. Just bring it this way. There you go. There you go, handsome. This is what feels like long time no update because <laughs> um, it is 10 a.m. and you guys he's here oh, he's perfect he's so handsome I love him um, yeah I am hungry I'm so hungry um, so we're waiting on our breakfast um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated a little bit after because I'm in a little bit of pain. But you guys, this was perfect. This was a good birth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was good. All right, guys. Here's our food. I got a food and cheese plate. Pineapples. And we got Yeah. <laughs> huh? It looks good. It does look good. I love <laughs> breakfast. I'm a very like I'm like a very weird person when it comes to food because like I love school food. So I feel like I or hospital food, so I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> um but yeah. I'm gonna eat now because I'm starving. Alright guys, so I haven't updated in a while. I think the last time was like eating meals and stuff, but um, it was a long, long night. So, so yeah, it's been, it was a, it was a long night um, or a long day because obviously we had him in the morning, we had all day with him and then all night with him. Um, so we just took that time just to, you know, bond with him and it was great. He's great. Um, we're headed home. Um, because I was pre-diabetic, um, they had a lot of testing to do, not a lot of testing, but they had to make sure his blood sugars were good, which he did great. Um, uh, and all of his 24 hour, uh, physicals were great, which is why we're able to leave today. So I'm just content with that. I could not be more content with that because literally being able to get through a high-risk pregnancy with no issues is like heaven sent like that was just amazing so um there was a couple things at first like oh we're gonna like monitor this or we're gonna continue to monitor that but like it everything came back so good and look at him he's sleeping he's ready to go home uh or leaving the hospital now so my mom got there so they got in last night around like 11 30 um <laughs> hold on <laughs> huh yeah so my husband went to the house last night like around 10 he left um, the hospital to go meet them at the house and uh, get them situated and then he came back um i let him sleep 
um because like he kept letting me sleep throughout the day like i was the one taking like naps and stuff so i was like just sleep but once it got to seven o'clock i was like all right you gotta get up because <laughs> i was dying um so i was able to sleep for a bit and yeah it's crazy my hair is so oily because you guys i wash it every saturday yeah <laughs> and um I was supposed to wash it yesterday because I was like, oh, I'll be ready to go for my induction. No, it did not happen. So my hair's oily. I got to wash it. Um, but that's the least of my worries. <laughs> oh, I'm just so obsessed with him. Look at him. He's just chilling. Yeah, so that was my labor and delivery. Um, I'm, I'm still amazed. <laughs> I'm still in shock, but I did it. <laughs> uh, yeah I'll see you guys on the next one